It's been 10 years since Breaking Dawn was released. For those of you who do not remember what that was, it was part of the then popular Twilight series. If you still can't recall what we're talking about, we'll just say it's about four boring books about a vampire. For those of you who do actually remember what we're talking about, we caught up to a special guest, Robert Pattison. True Hollywood story. Mr. Pat, Mr. Pat, sir, can we uh, get an interview for it from you? Yeah. In 2008, you were considered a uh, teen heartthrob, a, a pop culture icon. Teens all around were amazed at your performance as Edward Cullen. But we've seen that you've been absent from the silver screen these days. How's your career? Korea? What Korea? I got no bloody Korea. I haven't done anything since Breaking Dawn. Yeah, it's typecasting. That could be a very harsh thing amongst actors. Typecasting? There's no casting. My bloody agent says my acting's a load of crap. I can't even get a cameo on a bloody sitcom. Well, with all the money you've made from the Twilight series, not just the films themselves, but also merchandise, you must be living really comfortably. Yeah, right. I just <laughs> filed for bankruptcy for the seventh <laughs> time already. Robert, please, we have young viewers on on this show, so uh, where did all that money go? Spent it on booze. Can I get me a beer here somewhere? Okay, well, you may not be a millionaire, but you're definitely a teen heartthrob. Girls were crazy over you. And, well, how's your love life these days? I mean, we heard rumors that you were with your ex-co-star, Kristen Stewart. Oh, that fucking bitch. Don't even get me started on her. We married a year after Breaking Dawn, and then... Half a year later, she takes my money and divorces me. It's terrible. Then she told the tabloids I gave her an STD, not to mention what she's asking for in child support. That f cow, I could use a cigarette right now. I bet you could. So... Uh, I'm really sorry to hear about that, though, Mr. Pattinson. I mean, you had such a good career, but... After Twilight, you pretty much just dropped off screen. Dude, you're not going to actually like that, right? Why not? I mean, well, look, how about all the young people who look up to you? Fuck them. How can you do this in front of them? What, 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 what do you think of your fans, though? What about them? I mean, all the kids who look up to you. Do you, you, do you enjoy your popularity? I can't stand the little bastards. I can't even go to the bathroom without taking a piss without them pounding on the f***ing door. Well, no doubt fans will be pleased that you and Kristen Stewart and you are re reuniting for a, uh, a television show. Back to Twilight Saga. This is a form of a television series called, uh, Ed and Bella plus eight after the uh, debacle of John and Kate ten years earlier. But uh, it's going to be scheduled on NBC this fall? Correct. And uh, could you care to tell us about that? Well, what it's about is basically takes place ten years after the breaking dawn. Edward and Bella are living together with their eight kids. Two of them are retarded. I think they got Bella's jeans on that one. What about the rumors that Edward was going to be re recasted? Did you hear about that? Because of your uh, your drug abuse and your uh, alcohol. Recast? Who? Me? Edward Cullen? You can't recast Edward Cullen! I am Edward Cullen! <laughs> Security! Security! Uh, looks like Mr. Cullen's at it again. I'll drink your blood! Actors! What the fuck is wrong with you? I'll drink your blood! Okay, Glitter Boy, didn't we warn you last time we throw you off the show? I'll drink your blood! Right Looks like he's drinking a little too much. Actors. Model citizens. While security takes care of Edward, Robert, here's a sneak peek from his new show, Ed and Bella Plus A.
all your fault. It's your fault too. Try birth control. Nothing you can do about it. You weren't complaining at the time. Those little fuckers are still on the slide. Don't make me come up there, spider monkey. My skates aren't funny! I'm Norman, and welcome to this new house. No, just grab us some snacks. See, some of the guys down at work snuck some ultra strength relaxed doing with Clayton's coffee. <laughs> this is a good sound for that. I don't know where. Rolling.